Carla, most people don't know this, but February, of course, was Black History Month. But do you know what month March is? I do, just because I've cheated and I've looked. It's Women's History Month. It is. It's <laughs> Women's History Month. And in this week's Community Spotlight, B. Poland talks to Tracy Warren from the Anne Arundel County Commission for Women about what they have in store for us. B. Well, Eric, it's March, and to you that may mean March Madness, but to me it means Women's History Month. We're here today to talk about the Women's Commission of Anne Arundel County and talk about the contributions of women in our society during the month of March. I'm pleased to introduce Tracy Warren, who's the chair, the new chair of the Anne Arundel County Commission. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Now, you just were recently elected, is that correct? Yep, absolutely. In January, mm -hmm. and you've taken over the helm of the commission, and you have a big commission. But first, I want to know about you. Sure. Um, during the day, during uh, my, my regular gig, I work as a government attorney. I'm an attorney at the Department of Veterans Affairs, although I am compelled to assert that I'm not here in that capacity today. Okay. Obviously, I'm here representing the Women's Commission. Great. Now, you were appointed by County Executive Leopold mm -hmm. uh, last summer or two summers ago? Mm -hmm, in 2009. Okay, and what compelled you to apply to be a, a member of the commission? Sure, I was looking for ways to be more involved in the community, and I thought that the Women's Commission would just be a great way to, uh, to use my efforts, my energy, to try to make a difference in the lives of women in the county. That sounds great. Now, are you a native? from Anne Arundel County, a transplant. How did you end up and where do you live? Sure, I actually grew up in Anne Arundel County okay. and um, I'm a statistic, so to speak, because I actually live not too far from where I grew up. I, I live in West County now, but okay. I grew up uh, right off of Quarterfield Road in Woodside West, so. Okay, and you live in Odenton now? I do, okay. we live in Odenton. A big booming area of our county? It's growing quickly. Yeah, okay. The um, commission is made up of women members who are appointed by the county executive. Can you tell us a little bit about who the members are? Sure, I'm so pleased to tell you that we have such a diverse group of women, uh, different ethnicities, different religions, uh, different backgrounds. Uh, medical backgrounds, women okay. that are really just eager to serve. Um, one of our newer commissioners actually, um, I think it's so interesting, she's actually had some like medical devices patented and oh, she's wow. actually in the process of having others patented. Um, we have uh, commissioners that have retired from the federal government, um, commissioners that work in health care, so it's just really just an awesome opportunity to work with such a diverse group. And you have a student member now. I know the commission worked very hard to, to have a student member a couple of years ago. And who is that student member now? Sure. Her name is Rachel Roth, and she attends Southern High School. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of her. Um, really pleased to be able to say that we've been able to mentor her. And she's actually working on a project to help with the enrichment and self-esteem of of some of the students there, uh, female students at Southern. Okay. Now, if uh, a woman in our audience hears uh, about the commission and wants to know more about it and is interested in applying, how would they do that? Sure, I would invite anyone interested in more information or even to apply to visit our website, okay. which is www.aacountycw.org. There's more information on our website about the commissioners, about things that are coming up in the, in the county, uh, even has information on there regarding uh, the fact that we're recruiting for new student commissioners. So there'll be application okay. materials on there as well. Now, if you are a student, uh, a young woman student, what age do you have to be to apply? We're primarily looking for juniors because the appointment would be for two years. Okay. Uh, they would spend their, uh, well, I should say we're looking for students that are entering their junior year because okay. we would want them to spend their junior and senior year with us on the commission, okay. and we would help them develop a project as well. So the women commissioners meet monthly? Yes. And where do they meet? What time? Sure, we meet at 7 p.m. down in Arnold at the YWCA. Okay, and the meeting lasts, what, a couple hours? Sure, about two hours. Okay. Uh, we start at 7 and we usually wrap up by 9. Now, um, in addition to your monthly meetings, what else does the commission do on, a, on an annual basis? Sure, 
various things. It, it really just depends. Um, we've done a Healthy Heart event at the Pasco Senior Center. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really proud to tell you that one of our commissioners actually also serves um, on the board for Habitat for Humanity, and we're working on the possibility of doing a build with them in April. Oh, that'd be fun. Let me know about exciting. that. Would like Absolutely. to come out and help with that. Oh, I will. Thank you. Okay. So just, you know, partnering in the community, we've also reached out to Arundel House of Hope uh, just for partnership opportunities and just other ways that we can mm -hmm. support women in the county and their families. Well, these uh, sound like uh, great opportunities for women who want to give of their time here in our county. Uh, we know we have rich resources here of uh, professionals and, and lay people and uh, women from all walks of life that can make a contribution through our commission. So I'm really excited to hear about what your goals are for the for the commission. And um, we want to repeat the website if women are interested in uh, approaching the commission or coming to a meeting, the website is www.aacountycw.org. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And Tracy Warren is the new chair, and she'd be glad to talk to you about uh, your interest in the commission. And I hope that you'll take this month to learn more about women in Anne Arundel County during Women's History Month. We're making a great contribution. Thank you, and back to you, Eric. Thanks, B. The commission is currently looking for a new student member. To qualify, you must be entering your junior year in high school next fall and have at least a B average. The member serves a two-year term and participates in the meeting and the group's annual retreat. This is a great resume builder. To find out more, call 410-874-7612. Women's History Month, Carla. Mm -hmm. I always, always, you know, it's one of those Black History Month, Women's History Month. I love history. But can you, if someone said to you, Women's History Month, who is the most memorable woman in history to you? <sighs> That's really difficult. Uh, there's, there's so many. There's so many. Yes, there's so many. Your mom. So, my mom. Course, or, yes. Actually, mom. my mom. Mom out there, if you're watching, you're definitely my favorite woman and most influential review, woman out there. Did they get Weekend Review in Michigan? Well, of course not, but it's online. Ah, uh, so you, you can know watch that. it anytime online at. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, and maybe That's some right. of uh, the women, the first women on the Supreme Court. So Yes, paving the way yeah. for justice. Sandra Day O'Connor, mm -hmm. Justice Ginsburg as well. Maybe. What about you? Well, outside of mom, of course, and my wife and my daughter, <laughs> um, I've got to say uh, Clara Barton. American Red Cross. Red Cross. Absolutely. Very good. And the reason I say that is my, and I always, this is one of my first memories, is that my kindergarten teacher was the great granddaughter of Clara Barton. Wow. And I remember hearing the wonderful stories that she did in, uh, you know, in starting the Red Cross and moving that organization forward. So that really, you know, for her to do that at that time was just a, an amazing inspiration to a lot of women out there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. good stuff. <laughs> well, that wraps up this week's edition of Week in Review. You can watch this episode online anytime at www.aacounty.org. Archive episodes are available at blip.tv, and you can also subscribe to the free video podcast at iTunes. Please tune in again next week for more highlights and news from around the county, and we'll see you next time.